there was a lot of talking, right? Now it's time to take a moment to actually work with what we just covered. For the first exercise, I have added a password input field, as well as a password data property. I want you to use two-way data binding to update the data property with the value of the input field. The next exercise is about displaying the appropriate paragraph based on the length of the data property. The first paragraph should be displayed if the string is longer than 8 characters, the second if the string is between 1 and 8 characters long, and the third paragraph otherwise. As for the third exercise, please display the category names in an unordered list. Within each li element, you should add an unordered list with the names of the given categories, subcategories. Best of luck and see you in a bit. I hope you managed to solve the exercises. Here are my solutions. The first exercise can be solved by simply adding the vModel directive to the password input, like this. And that's it. For the second exercise, I'll first add the vif directive to the first paragraph. So let's do that, vif. The expression is going to check whether or not the password property's length is greater than 8. So I can write password, which is my data property, dot length, greater than 8. For the next paragraph, I'll check if the length is greater than 0 with the v-else-if directive. So here I write v-else-if and for the expression I'll write password.length is greater than 0. By doing this, I know that if this evaluates to true, then the length is between 1 and 8. If none of this evaluates to true, then the length must be 0. So I can simply handle this scenario by adding the v-else directive to the last paragraph. Like so. Running the code, we can see that the last paragraph is initially displayed. And as we begin typing something in the password field, the text changes. To solve the last exercise, I'll first add a v4 directive to the ordered lists li element, because this is the element that I want to repeat. So I'll say v4 equals category in categories. So categories is my data property and category is my alias. For each iteration, I'll output the name of the category by accessing the name property on the object within the string interpolation syntax. So I'll simply output it right here. I'll say category.name. Within the nested ul element, I want to display an li element for each subcategory that the current category object has. Therefore, I will add another v4 directive on the li element. So again, v4 equals. And this time I will access the array of subcategory names on the sub property on a category object. And I'll use an alias of sub which I can then simply output. So sub in category dot sub. And for outputting it, I'll just write sub right here. Running the code once again displays an ordered list where each item has an unordered list. And with this, we saw how we can nest v4 directives.